MIT is about bringing youth to theater. Um, it's kind of a way for kids who maybe have experienced it a little bit in their schooling, you know, in a drama class or something, they get a little taste of it. Um, and if they're excited about it, that they can come to a place like TYT and really get to know it and really, really sort of dig deep into it. Well, we're doing two plays, um, two one acts. Um, they'll be presented in the same evening. We're doing Chat Room by Andrew Walsh and Citizenship by Mark Ravenhill. Citizenship is about this guy who's trying to figure out his sexual preferences and sexual identity. And he's sort of trying to figure out whether he likes girls or guys or both, and everyone's trying to tell him what to do and what to be. And he's trying to figure out for himself. Well, I play Gary, right? Um, since like uh, early high school and stuff, he, he's been like bullied in a way, like in a way. And the thing is that people call him Gay Gary and stuff like that. So, uh, but he doesn't care about what people think and stuff like that. So that's good. They kind of are like the bullies of the entire place, so they'll go around like they'll like they're teasing everyone. They're a bit homophobic, okay, a little bit more than a bit. So they're kind of like the uh, the evil aspect kind of to the play. I think we all kind of deal with um, not depression per se, but a lot of put downs and just not thinking you're the best that you can be. The whole play is something that everyone can really relate to because maybe not the same issue, but everyone's had that issue of discovering what they really want and who they really are. And it's, uh, for the characters in the play, they're like 15, 16, and it's a time where most of us have discovered what we really want to be and what we really want to do. It kind of looks at the whole idea of online chat rooms, and you see kids who are having these real relationships but online and the kind of cycle of um, what the power that children and teenagers have on the internet and how they can use it to hurt other people or how they can use it to build relationships. I related to it when um, I would be talking to my friends online and I'd be opening up more to them online rather than in person I felt like as in, in person I was I felt really shy, I couldn't really connect to them. But online I can connect to anyone. Um I heard about TYT online. Um I had found out about it on their website and I had seen a couple shows, um, some of their past shows, and I understood that they only really did musicals and so I got really excited once I found out that they were doing um, two plays this year. We chose those plays because we feel they are they're relevant to youth today. They deal with youth issues um, in a relatable way and an entertaining way. I mean, it's not just hitting the audience on the head at different points. They're done in a very entertaining way, often very comic. For William uh, in chat room, he's, he's, uh, a lot of what he's about is he needs to find a cause, something for him to stand up as, as a teenager. And he doesn't necessarily um, have very good or moral ideas about that. I think they're very open, they're very free, they're very eager to learn, they're really interested and they're they're so willing to take chances. It's always brilliant. you always get such great results working with young adults I find. I thought it would be better for the kids to explore those issues that they're dealing with every day but be able to sort of tackle them through uh, theatre and through art and through imagination. Um, so it lets them talk about them in a safe environment and it lets them sort of explore sort of ideas around them in an imaginative way um, that sort of takes the pressure off them. It takes the pressure off them having to have all the answers all the time. 